This is a quick overview of how to access and navigate the buoyancy simulator from phet.colorado.edu. It is suggested that in conjunction with this introduction, you also review the other videos regarding the theory and problem solving examples on buoyancy. You can find the simulator through Google, but make sure that you navigate to the most up to date version. Make sure your Flash Player is enabled. In the Introduction tab, you are given two sample objects of equal mass that you can put on a scale to measure. and drop in water. When you drop them in water, the, the liquid level will rise equivalent to the displaced volume. Note that the displaced volume might not equal the total volume of the object except when the object is fully immersed. For objects denser than the liquid, they will sink and then you can put them on a scale to measure the normal force pushing up. Note that because of buoyancy, this force will be less than that measured on dry ground. You can have the free body diagram vectors drawn in for you. And have the simulator calculate the force values. There is an option to change from water to oil, which has a different density. There are also options that instead of two blocks of the same mass, you have two of the same volume but because they have different density, now they have different mass. The final option is to have two blocks of different volumes and masses, but the same density. Now let's explore the options for the buoyancy playground. Over here, you can experiment with not just two, but only a single block at first to keep things simple. Again, you can measure 
the normal force on dry surface as well as in the water if the object sinks. You can manually change the mass and if you have set the density then the simulator will recalculate the volume for you. Again you can display the relevant vector representations and the calculated force values. And again, there are options to change the density of the liquid.